So as I've just uh, mentioned, uh, this is uh, the OCR specification that we follow. Um, it comprises of three different units and what you should perhaps do is go onto the OCR website, have a look at the specification, print off a copy, make sure that you've got it ready uh, as part of your folders for September. So component one is a two and a half hour exam that you, you look at and as part of that you'll look at three different texts. So the first is your Shakespeare study and the Shakespeare study will be Hamlet and um, so it would be a good idea for you if you haven't already have a look at some productions of Hamlet and um, have a look at um, some if you can get a copy of it as well so that you can uh, read along through that would be particularly useful. Um, if you've watched The Lion King because uh, obviously that's based on Hamlet, that isn't sufficient. You need to make sure that you get the actual copy. Your drama and poetry pre-1900, you'll look at Geoffrey Chaucer's The Merchant's Prologue and The Merchant's Tale. Um, that's a, a 14th century text, so he was writing after the events of um, the Black Death, um, you know, at the time of, of Richard II. And uh, you'll look at Oliver Goldsmith's She Stoops to Conquer, which is a play from the 18th century. It's probably the only 18th century play that's really maintained its popularity. Um, it's, a, it's a time period of, of plays where there isn't necessarily too many. So those are the, the texts that you'll be looking at. And uh, if you want to get ahead and if you want to start reading up on them, that might be a useful exercise. Component two is also two and a half uh, hours long um, but this is on uh, it's a comparative and, and it's a contextual study so the topic that you'll be looking at or the theme you'll be looking at is dystopia so what you'll have is you'll have a close reading of a dystopian text as part of ta ta uh, task one and then task two you'll have a comparative essay so that will be looking at the handmaid's tale by margaret atwood and george orwell's 1984 both of those um, books, you can you can have a look at some um, some adaptations of that. So Margaret Atwood's *The Handmaid's Tale* um, has been made into a, a Hulu TV series uh, recently, starring uh, Elizabeth Moss. Um, I recommend uh, having a look at that. You can get quite a few of them on 4OD, um, and actually it goes on past the the events of Margaret Atwood's first book. Um, a sequel's just been published as well, so you can read that. George Orwell's 1984, there's some excellent radio adaptations of that, and there is a film as well that you can watch. Um, and again, maybe having a bit of a focus on this, this topic of dystopia uh, prior to September would be useful for you. Component three is literature post-1900. So you'll be looking at three texts, a play, prose and poetry. So you'll be looking at Carol Ann Duffy's Rapture, Tennessee Williams' A Streetcar Named Desire, and, and Jean Reese's uh, Wide Sargasso Sea, which is a, a feminist response to Jane Eyre um, by Charlotte Bronte. Um, it would again be useful for you to have a bit of an understanding about each of the texts, um, but you, you'll be looking at most of these in year 13, so it's not a, a, an instant priority for you. The department is led by Miss Kane, and if you've got any questions from this, you can contact her. Um, but next year, you'll be taught by Miss uh, Miss Kane and Mr. Eastwood. It's a big department, the English department. Um, they're all based in the Folian Centre. And if you have any questions about your particular work or anything that you're a bit unsure about, obviously you can go see your subject teachers. But because there's so many different members of staff, you can contact them as well. Um, you've got support from dedicated subject subject specialists and examiners. So Miss Kane is an examiner for the OCR board and um, it would be uh, useful to make sure that you get her insight about how different um, different questions are assessed. There's a 100% pass rate in the subject um, with a proven record of students achieving A's and A stars and because they're all based in the Folian Centre the department is able to utilise the drama space that's available, the multimedia suites of computers that are there um, and the department takes advantage of our close proximity to a number of different theatres um, and uh, based in Birmingham to have theatre trips and lecture days as well to support the learning. So in English Learning and Lit we do four main topics. So that is the language of poetry and plays. So we cover Carol Ann Duffy's Rapture, which you might have done at GCSE. And we also do Ian McEwan's Atonement. There's a street corner I've desired, which is a play by Tennessee Williams. And we also do um, the language part of it, which is an anthology of speeches, of TV interviews, and then we analyse those like you would have done in the GCSE. Good. So with OCR, 
OCR and that you put the writing as a reader and reading as a writer, so that it's the MEQ as atonement, and then we analyse that and check it out. And then we do our own creative writing and write a commentary on it. So we say um, why we chose to use such devices to just show off how much knowledge we know the language side of the specification. And then we also do two further exams and a coursework which involve you in your own text and then analysing it with set text or OCR and then that really allows you to just use your own knowledge of literature and incorporate it into the And so when you do coursework you'll be given a coursework mentor and it will be any of the teachers from the English department and they will work specifically with you in your free years, out of school, um, on Zoom meetings, whatever, just to help you directly with the coursework. And you, they're always just name out of the way, so if you need any more help. And um, just how you found doing the course? Um, I've really enjoyed it. It was my favourite subject to GCSE, so I was always a bit apprehensive about what it would be like at eye level. But it's just so much fun. There's so much diversity within the text, so you can really explore what you find is interesting. And it's my favourite subject, definitely. It can be difficult. It's a massive step up. 500% recommend.